Mahalo and aloha from How to Drink. We're making tiki drinks. We haven't done enough tiki drinks on the show. I am a big fan of tiki. Tiki is not a palapa by the beach and flat beer. It is extremely complicated cocktails served in swank lounges, South Seas decor and music, and then Martin Denny is playing, and uh, you're wearing a fez hat and a smoking jacket. It's Beverly Hills in 1954, and it's tiki time, okay? Tiki is a admittedly ersatz cultural movement that comes out of the post-war period when soldiers and sailors are coming back from the South Pacific where they've just been fighting World War II. And while they're over there, they get sent out occasionally between maneuvers on R&R &R to these beautiful, peaceful Polynesian beaches. And they brought a little bit of a desire to experience that with them when they came back. And a couple of enterprising bartenders opened up bars that really capitalized on that. And for a while there, tiki bars were these glamorous, mysterious parlors of extremely complicated Polynesian-influenced drinks. Not blender drinks, but balanced, strong, spirit-forward drinks in many respects, I, I think that tiki is a return to form because in the golden age of cocktails, and by the golden age of cocktails, we're talking like the 1860s up through the turn of the century, you've got drinks that have 10, 12 ingredients in them and they are very balanced and strong and not overly sweet, not too syrupy, and they are in your face. And then that goes away during prohibition and you get these really scaled down, very simple drinks made by people with very limited access to alcohol. And then post-war, now we're making these complicated drinks again with a kind of a different goal in mind. And so I think tiki is sort of a historic revitalization of cocktail as a, as a art form and a culture. So we're gonna make a bunch of tiki drinks this summer. These are very strong drinks. As a matter of fact, the zombie at Trader Vic's famously was limited two per customer. Oh yeah. Our friends at Luxardo and Anchor Distilling are back and they're gonna help us out with a couple of episodes here. We're gonna make some tiki drinks with them. Classics, maybe even pre-tiki drinks. Thank you for joining me while we uh, explore the, the smooth vibes and uh, laid back style of the Polynesian thing that we've got going on here in Tiki Town. I'm gonna open a tiki bar. I'm gonna open it and it's gonna be in Key West and you guys are gonna come and we're gonna have a big tiki fest down there. And it's gonna be awesome and you're gonna make me so rich.